Hello friends, welcome to the Alpha Point. I am Vishal and today I am going to show Samsung Galaxy Note 2 running Android 4.4.1. It is the latest release from the Omni ROM that is 4.4.1. It got released on 10th December 2013. And I am going to show what are the features here and what is working and what is not working here. So let's start with the version number here. Let's see what is the version number here. So as you can see here, Android version 4.4.1, Omni version 4.4.1 based on MJ9 here, kernel version build number as you can see KitKat here KitKat logo the KitKat emoji is here so let's close it guys and this is the latest release for this Samsung Galaxy Note 2 from the Omni ROM so let's look what are the features here so first click take, take a look at the home screen here as you can see I have added many home screen in home screen so you can add unlimited number of home screen as you want or, or if you want to delete a home screen just delete on the application from that home screen and it will automatically delete it as you can see the home screen is decreasing here or if you want to add more home screen just add an icons like file manager and just click here and the home screen has been created here if you want to delete this home screen just drag this and this home screen will be deleted here so this is our main home screen and those were the home pages so this is the home screen see the menu here wallpaper you can edit wallpaper widget settings by clicking on menu or you can just long press it or it will bring out those you can say okay Google okay Google it will bring out the Google speak now option here just you need to say that okay Google in your home screen here so this is pretty cool here now look at the notification panel here first the status bar you can change the icons of the of your battery icon here the way you want put the battery percentage here you can change the networks sign in settings here you can add a photograph here in your notification panel here or you may if you want if you just click in time here it will bring out your clock if you click on this date it will bring out your calendar and it will bring out the other notification setting here so these are settings and everything's working fine except the Wi-Fi tethering Wi-Fi tethering is not working in this ROM and in previous build it was also not working we have to wait more to get the Wi-Fi thing working in the KitKat version. Now look at the app drawer. So in app drawer, what we have is this two application with some Google apps installed after installation of this OMG ROM. It has a folder option. You can create folders in your home screen here. Just drag an application in one on another application and it will create a folder automatically here. You can name that folder just name it anything and you have just named your folder here just bring out and it will go single once again so that's pretty cool and you can create folder in your home screen and let's look at the user interface here you can add folder for clicking here or you can just uninstall any app just click here and you can uninstall by clicking going there and just press ok and it will uninstall the application right from your home screen here you don't need to go to the apps manager in your setting here now look at the lock screen now lock screen in the KitKat version has changed here just drag this as you can see here a new user interface here in the lock screen menu just drag anywhere it will unlock your device if you swipe from here you can add widgets here like the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 any widget here like the Google Now you can add more widget here so this is a new feature in Note in the KitKat version here or swipe from right it will bring out the camera application 
so you don't need to open the application unlock the device and open the camera application to open the camera you just do it open it right from your lock screen now look at what we have in our settings options here in settings we have wi-fi bluetooth data uses in mode we have airplane mode default sms app you can change your default messaging app here hangouts or messaging nfc android beam tethering tethering is not working in 4.4.1 vpn mobile network mobile plan self broadcast everything is working here except the testing plan here testing option in interface we have bars in bars we can enable the notification count in our status bar or enable the speed indicator in our status bar and activity indicator if there is uplink or downlink in our network in menus we can add screenshot option in our power menu like screenshot just disable this and we will not have the screenshot option here screen record option is also present but to record your screen you need to use android ADT so that is not so easy as it seems here in notification drawer we can add image here it is not it has some bugs like it is not showing properly it was showing as before i when i showed you the notification option there so it needs to be fixed in the next update what active display is it will show notification in your device by guessing that you have withdrawn your device from your pocket here you can change the dis display notification you can show date am pm you can show the notification text right in your active display option there notification you can tweak here you can add more settings here you need to look out look at that in mode we have clear all button like in recent views we have clear all buttons here you can you can tweak it here or remove this here in, in device we have sound display settings in buttons we can change what are these buttons do like if i long press or back button it will kill the app like what i have said there in normal place of home button will go to the home screen long press of home button will go to the recent app switcher and if i press this once this will switch the last application like if i'm going to open the app store and then i'm gonna open settings now see what will happen double tap and if it switch the application here see double tap and it will switch the application you can change it here you can change the menu key option here long press search assistance and normal will open the menu option here so in storage we have the settings of our storage and see what we have here the storage available 9.09 in our sd total available 10.46 here after installing this i have 16 gb of external memory here and in battery we have our battery settings here you can change the indicator battery bar as you can see the normal default battery bar here the battery percentage which was small percentage in our battery here you can change it to circle here low battery warning so if you want to add a notification in low battery you can add it here so this are our battery option here in apps we have our application manager downloaded running and all in location we have our location settings in security we have security and we can you have to if you want to enable widgets in your lock screen we have to enable it here maximize lock screen widget here just disable it power button instant lock just press it and it will instantly lock your device here menu lock make possible so these are the common settings here app permission here you can change what application needs what permission like if you don't want to google play service to record your audio just disable this and it will not record you audio here this is option in app permission language and input settings here backup and reset 
accounts and here are the system settings like date and time accessibility you can print your documents right from here using printing option here about phone i have already shown this let's see what are in display setting here here's dream day like if you are charging your device or your device in dock it will show a time here with completely background in your AMOLED screen here it will not draw much power and it will look much good if your device is charging and it will show the time to you you can enable it here we have sleep mode phones font size notification light you can enable your notification light when and how which notification to choose which color here so you can tweak it here wake up display cost screen you can share your screen here like Samsung in Samsung devices so these are the settings and these have been added in Samsung Galaxy Note 2 with Android 4.4.1 kit update by the Omni ROM here and that's it from this video guys hope you like it and hope you install it too and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you